Hey there, what's going on? Clive Jeffrey here from clivejeffrey.com and today I wanted to talk to you about five phrases that will change your life. Now this was a topic of a speech that I heard while I was at the Live the Dream event in Austin, Texas a couple of weeks ago and it was put on by Lisa Grossman. Now if you haven't heard of Lisa then I strongly encourage that you look her up. Um, she's an amazing woman, been in the home business industry for 20 or 30 years even and a multiple seven figure earner. So well worth a uh, a follow and um, you know look her up for sure. Now these phrases are really cool. She actually got them from a TED talk, so that's another thing that you can check out too. But the first phrase is get out of your comfort zone. If you have no unknowns in your life, things are not necessarily good. Now I can um, really attest to this one. It really hit home with me because you know I had my own printing and graphic design business for 23 years. I was making a good living at it, but everything was just so predictable. I knew exactly what each day would entail, and to be quite honest, I was miserable. There was no unknowns, and I was simply going through the motions. And um, you know I just couldn't continue like that. So luckily, I had a supportive wife, and in the end, we decided to make a big change and actually moved. Um, not only uh, our employment situation where I sold the business and then uh, we came across to this live in America which where my wife is originally from so you can read more about my story on the link that's in the the blog post that goes with this video the next um, phrase is challenge your assumptions so that you can discover your truths now this is a, another great one that hit home with me you know we all assume things that we doing in life um, and we know that whole saying you know if you assume something you know it's what that stands for <laughs> I don't need to tell you but you know we've got to check our assumptions to make sure that we are doing what we want in life you know we're not just going through the motions you know don't assume that what you're doing is the only thing that you can do you know, challenge your assumptions and you really you know find something that you want to do that's going to really excite you get you out of bed in the morning you know we only have one chance at this so I strongly encourage you to take advantage of that Number three is speak in the language of the person you wish to become. Now, that's another big one. And a lot of people say, for example, if I want to be a leader within my organization or business, you know, once I start getting a few followers, I'll start acting and sounding like a leader. No, sorry, that doesn't work. To attract people initially, you've got to sound like a leader. People want to follow someone that um, knows where they're going. So, you know, really work on what you actually want out of life and there's a saying that Diane Hockman um, another great uh, leader says and that's just you've got to work out who you are and what you stand for so if you can't answer those questions who am I and what do I stand for then you're never going to be able to attract any followers in your business so there's some more homework for you then on to number four is there's no such thing as failure there's only learn 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 and success and nothing illustrates this point more than uh, that the, the story of Edison and his um, you know, invention of the electric light bulb he went through 10,000 things that didn't work to finally uh, arrive at the one that did you know when, and when he was confronted and said you know how did you keep going you know when you had all those failures and his answer was well you know I didn't fail I found 10,000 ways that didn't work so he turned it around to a positive you know and to me that is a really winning attitude so another example of something that you can start bringing into your life to start getting the results that you want to and last but not least is another powerful one it says make the little decisions with your head and the big decisions with your heart so that simply means like you know follow your dreams you know if you have that burning desire to be you know a puppeteer for example then don't think of all the logical reasons why you shouldn't do that you no know, follow your heart if that's truly going to make you happy then your head will help you on the day-to-day -day little decisions to lead you to that end you know you will figure it out and you'll live a much better life by doing so you know if you're following your dreams you're going to be a better person to not only be around your family's going to like you more because you're going to be a happier person so have the strength and really decide what's going to make you happy now of course don't just go and quit your job tomorrow and um, you know start making puppets if that's your thing but you know you really want to put a game plan together and that's where the little steps that your head can help you with but no your heart first has got to find that desire and passion that you want to you know follow your life and lead your life by 
So hopefully you've got some value from this. I know that it really had a big impact on me while I was at the you know the Live the Dream event, and when I heard um, Lisa Grossman's speech, it, all these things really have impacted me, and they make so much sense. So hopefully you'll get the same value from them. Now, if so, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Leave a comment below, and also share it with someone else that you think might get some value from it. Um, you know, thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'd like to ask you to connect with me on Facebook. Um, no, and also come and visit me on my blog, clivejeffrey.com, and su subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'll put up new content on all those platforms on most days, and um, I'd love to help you in any way that I can. So look forward to connecting with you. Thanks for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.